Three newly released control net models in SD3.5. I will introduce it in detail later. I am using the online mirror of Duana Kula. If you don't want to deploy locally and want to use it directly online, just click on my image. Updated to yesterday's. All current workflows are in. This way everyone can use all my workflows online. Click to open the three main categories, divided into images, videos, and voice. Image class, updated to the latest is Flux. All these image editing models can be used directly online. The video category is some video-related workflows, such as video generation, video editing, and redrawing, etc. Voice coding and music generation. There are also voice and music editing functions, such as removing background sounds, etc. This way, I can use all my workflows online. If you want to use it locally, then you can open my notes, click on Configure Tutorial. We'll jump to the workflow location. Click on the image category. The first one is RSD 3.5 Control Network Control Nets. It's in there. Control Nets 3 download and installation locations and simple workflow screenshots. There are also workflow downloads. This is suitable for local deployment. Okay, back to this workflow. First of all, the first control net is a fuzzy. I have already installed control nets. If you use this online mirror, you already have. Just use it directly. This is blurry. The blur effect is used for high definition restoration and the like. For example, something to big like this. I have a note here. For example, the blurrier the image, the, the lower the, the change. Because it's too blurry, so your setting is useless. He can't fix it, so he can only. If you set it high, only some minor repairs, but your original picture will change a lot. In addition, we set its value to 0 0.7. Being too high actually limits his changes. He basically can't recover his blurry effect. So if you want to restore something as blurry as this, just use a lower value. Give him more freedom to play. This is the first use of its obscure control maps. Mainly used for high definition restoration. The second one is easy. This is a line drawing of Kenny. That is the line drawing of Kenny. This won't be introduced. Basically no different from other control nets. Tim. This controls the level of detail of his line drawing and this permission controls. It just means there is one more SD3.5 model. This way, you have more options to use. Then the last one is the DGRAPH model control nets. It will refer to a sense of space. The relationship between there the are path also and the, the same control methods for position, size, etc. It's all about controlling the intensity. There's basically nothing to say about this, just these three, and the effect is not very good. If this setting is too high, he will appear like this. Limiting his performance. So when you encounter this ambiguity, you want to fix him again. There is only one way. Just lower this value. But if the value is lower, he appears in color again. All the details are different. So you have to use another tool to copy the color. By lowering the value, it can fix this kind of excessive blur.
image repair. It can also be solved. Just solve different methods. He will deviate a lot from the original picture because he's too vague. You can disable it at runtime. It won't run to the end. Okay, he will fix it like this. He will not be restricted by this and become a grid. Of course, this restoration will deviate but a lot from But this can be this solved color. with another color repair. I won't introduce it here. This color restoration tool. You can find it in the image category. Some workflows related to color restoration can be solved. Okay, let's go play.